Howdy folks, and welcome to the third episode of Butterfly People. As you can see, we are in a new environment, no longer in the forest, but encased in the boxes, walls, ceiling and floor of the cell-like cubes called rooms of a house. And I can tell you, it's quite something to get used to. After living in open space, surrounded by trees and beautiful bird song and natural smells and sounds, to be suddenly thrown into this cube box-like construction is a bit of a difficulty for people to adapt. The footage you will be seeing in this episode will be reflecting a group of people who have maybe a little bit lost their orientation as they are re-entering what is called normal society and into their box-like structures of rooms. Don't be alarmed, we are capable of adapting ourselves to pooping and clean drinking water again and also to cooking with gas. Sometimes we just have to make these adaptations because we're not allowed to make a fire inside this house for whatever reason. I guess they don't want smoke all over the walls. All right, we can oblige that. But anyway, when you watch these people going a little bit crazy and you're thinking, what the hell is the matter with these folks? Just remember, they've just been living free in the forest, naked all day, eating and swimming and laughing and playing and doing a lot of work but doing it effortlessly because it doesn't seem like work because no one's bossing them around telling them that they have to do something because I have the money, listen to me, sonny. No, it doesn't work like that where we're living, where it's a meritocracy. Everyone volunteers what they do. And also here it's the same way. But it's not so easy just to uh, explain. You have to see how do we change and how do we adapt? How do we go from living in a nature community to living in a house? And that's what is happening in this episode. Today I went uh, walking for finding some gloves for the cleaning up mission and I was just randomly looking in dumpsters if there was something and I found all of these nice gloves for winter that anyone can use. So here I am trying them but they are quite, quite short for me actually. Well, <laughs> you're quite old, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that's the point as well. I got a new jacket. Yay. Is that from the dumpster? Yeah, from the dumpster. Wow, looks cool on you. <laughs> So there is two jackets, three jackets. They are like yeah, yeah dumpster models. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, dumpster fashion. <laughs> dumpster fashion, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they are very nice. That's so good. So you just took the jackets because the winter is coming? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because but there were more things. There are more things. There are shirts. Oh. There are even coming. maybe trousers. There are um, yeah, quite a lot of things. It's yeah. like a good gift from the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like just four long sleeve jackets for the winter <laughs> that is coming because we're not yeah, well prepared. Yeah, in very good state as well. Yeah, yeah. And this blue. I think this is the one that best fits me actually. Mm -hmm. And it's pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fits your character. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not really, but. <laughs> but I can use it. The chess master but with a pink shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it will be fun, no? Jay, how yeah. did you sleep? I slept like a baby. Absolutely. It was. It was and then I woke up to chickens, yeah, which reminds me of fun. home. That was lovely. You have and chickens at home? Yeah. Yeah, I got chickens at home. Aren't yeah. you British? Yeah. <laughs> you guys got chickens there? Yeah, we got chickens there. We got chickens there too. How many do you have? Five. Five chickens. Do they have names? Yeah, I can't remember all of them. Because like, I've just never been able to remember their names. Tell me one name. I named uh, Dimitri. I named Dimitri. Dimitri? The yeah. chicken? Yeah, Dimitri the chicken. The female chicken, Dimitri. Okay. Yeah. We've also got but Yoshi. 
Yeah, and Mer and Merlin Snow White, yeah. Snow White the chicken, Snow White the chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad for it's the something. chicken, eh? Yeah, I just need to find some eggs. Thank you. I just need to find some eggs now. I'm gonna, am I gonna take a walk up to Upper Borsh? Maybe to the mountain. <laughs> what do you think about the mountain? Should we hike it one day? You wanna hike it together? Thank you. Maybe all together. Hell yeah. Someday go up there. Yeah, Hell there's yeah. a road passing. Yeah, no, I haven't hiked the mountain yet. I, I love like mountains and climbing and. We should totally do it one day. But for the moment, eggs. Yes, one because thing at a time. Coffee. It's a good time. Egg. upper bush and then upper mountain. Yeah. It's a good egg example really of food. <laughs> it's been like a few minutes with no pun. I was getting a bit nervous. I'm sorry. I, I'm slacking today. <laughs> and here, we're making breakfast. What are we cooking, Jenny? We're cooking shashuka. Shashuka? Shashuka, it's five months in the Middle East. Uh -huh. I think it's more Tunisian food, but I love to eat it in Israel. And it's uh, famous for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So first you have some oil, I use coconut oil. Coconut oil? Coconut oil, or you can have olive oil, but mm -hmm. I coconut. And then onions, then tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, of course, from Bosch. Fresh tomatoes from Bosch. Yes, and then I added some chopped tomatoes. Ah, so yes, you mix for the, the western chili, and the eastern the style. Oh, in the chili. Uh, and then I will add a lot of garlic. We have chili. Yeah, yeah. Uh, chili yeah, yeah. How does it feel to cook on gas after the one month of cooking on the fire? <laughs> strange the actually, really strange. <laughs> and just a small pot. As usual, we have big, big pots like this size. And in the pavement. Yes, well. and the fire and the gas and, you know, like spoon and really like a pan and yeah. Don't forget to eat fruits, kids. <laughs> this is the best food, okay? And stay but in school. This is only when you, don't, when you only have tomato, you cook that, okay? Okay. And then <laughs> you add some garlic. And the best thing is, you put some eggs on the top. Just eggs on the top? Eggs on the top. Mm -hmm. You and have these? those eggs. And then the nice is also to, to serve it with olive oil, and chili, and salt, pepper, and yogurt. And that's enough for how many people? Mm, I think for me it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then disappointed so, the people. Huh? <laughs> now everybody is hungry. No, 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 we share this stuff as much we have. And, and waiting for and the food. And then we cook a second time. Second time. <laughs> second time. <laughs> we can cook all day and wait. Yeah. Don't forget the chili. Yeah, the chili. To clean up your intestine. Mm -hmm. With chili? With chili. Chill out, bro. <laughs> chili is very good. Chili is good and fruits are good. Chili so, is the, the remedy. So tell the kids to eat fruits and stay at home or stay in school? As long as you eat chili, you do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. All right. I want the popcorn today. And now? We're ready to eat. <laughs> the sack shuka is ready. Is it ready? Yeah, it is. So please just take mm, a seat. It smells nice. <laughs> ah, no, I know what I want. Looks like a nice branch. Okay. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love you all. But... <laughs> yeah, never leave us again. Never leave us again. We found you. <laughs> Dude, this place is so cool. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah. we want to watch some adventure. He made though. me film it. <laughs> he made me film it. <laughs> oh, can we open the gate? Yeah, we can open the gate. Oh my god. And Nicola! Hello. 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 Oh my god. Olska? Okay. What's from Poland in here? Hello. I'm so excited. We were just sat there and then they're like Philip and Hanka. Yeah. And I'm like, I heard them wrong. They didn't just say Philip and Hanka. <laughs> Best day ever. <laughs> Best day ever, man. Oh, hello. Welcome home. Welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> hello, oh, plenty of hugs. Yeah, good. More people arrived. <laughs> Look at them. Did you guys wash somewhere before coming or are you just shining because you're happy? We need the shower. Oh no, don't clog the shower again. <laughs> don't go to our room either. We gotta get some footage of our shower. Yeah. What lovely people. Seeing this hat, 
and just found it in the trash, brand new, like no. Yeah, yeah. We did. Well. Like, I said, I need a hat. Next container, brand new hat like this. A hat, a dress. Yeah, you you need you need the bag now. <laughs> That's it. We put there the old. Yeah, we put old yeah. hat. We take it's new trash. hat. It's like exchange of <laughs> trash. Wow. Yeah, we found. It's 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 maravillous. Oh, found fair play. You know, like found no. It's new people place. arrived in the house. Oh, nice. Really? Like that one there. And more hugs. And another guy arriving from there. Yeah. And my provisory cameraman just being lazy. <laughs> Look at these hacks. I love you guys. Oh, more hacks. The blue people got together. Oh, I love you too. And hacks there. And even more hacks there. They hack so much in this house because they all love each other. Have you got your? It's a lovely house, you would say. Where's your skateboard? <laughs> you have a skateboard? Ah, we, no, no, there's no place. More hugs. But, but you have it. Yeah. Oh, we find a place. Nice. We never the game. Well, guys, we ate already. Yeah, Sorry, we didn't keep something for you. If we find some, yeah, I think I, yeah, yeah. I will come. Oh, more yeah. hugs. Hell yeah. <laughs> and without my Hell yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. missed food yeah. circle. No, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, you missed the food circle. You could have eaten here, but. Oh. It's okay. You didn't miss magic hat. And more hugs. <laughs> you made this one. Though. Man. How many hugs are there? For five people, there is like 25 hugs. Maybe we just arrive. Maybe, maybe <laughs> if you arrive like here, you can give yourself. And more hugs. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop this video. Just hug. And more hugs. <laughs> what, me too? But this guy should keep the camera if I hug. <laughs> yeah. Second time. Sometimes when we're living in community together, it feels like we're in a cage and that we're trapped. Everyone all around us, there's nowhere to go to be alone. That's why you can always leave. And where we're now situated, we have people who have arrived, people who have left. Some people, they were going to stay for one night, you know, they said, oh yeah, I can hitchhike out tomorrow, I'll stay in the house one night, and now they're here for more than one and a half weeks. And you don't know what's gonna happen next. Maybe I'll go tonight, maybe I'll go tomorrow. I got two camps, so I could be in the camp in the nature, or I can be in the house, we're having movie night. Oh no, I wanna jam in the camp, what do I do? And it's nice to have a few options. But uh, the thing is, it's unpredictable. People just follow what's inside. No one has a schedule planned out. Like at 8 a.m. I will wake up and at 9 p.m. I'll go to sleep. And then on this date, this will happen. It doesn't feel like that. You know, we're more looking at, is it sunset, sunrise? Where's the moon? Is it full moon, new moon? This is the calendar. You need to move, you need to move your head. What are you doing? You know, if you hold a chicken and you go like this, yeah, yeah, the yeah. head just stays perfectly still. Their bodies move separately to the head, so you can like spin them, and their head's just there. Like a stabilizer. <laughs> Here we see a wild joy, trying to approach the turkey. All right. Playing me is one of your own. Accepts me into your ranks. <laughs> no, they don't like it. Maybe this one. Maybe you speak to them in Turkish, Joy. <laughs> Oranges from the garden. <laughs> wow, you look so beautiful. Why did I heard a shout. <laughs> okay, Jenny. That's the Jennifer, so let me introduce the Jennifer. <laughs> Jenny, is that you? That's me, yeah. I had a shower. Did you shower? You had a shower. I had a shower. When was the last time you had the shower? Around three weeks ago. Three, three weeks, weeks ago. Yes. Guys, you yeah, can you shower. can survive without a shower, even me. Uh, you need sometimes just water, or you yeah. can swim in the in the in the sea, salt water, or you use you use the, the water source and just soap. Yeah. Ah, werewolf. Do you know what it is? It's a game, and you have a narrator telling the story. After, you have some villagers, and one person or two might be a werewolf. Maybe there's other side characters, like someone who can see and ask questions, but the basics of this game is try to figure out who is the killer. Uh, Mafia is another version of this game, and there's plenty more. I am not the expert. Can you tell me, in this video, who you think might be the werewolf who killed Hannah? I I I, th I think so. It's it seems like the most. Well, are you this year? 
I think in the Let's most right please. now it's like it's like no, her problem. No, but, but don't say I think. Well, okay, but are you, okay, guys, no, guys, guys no. be honest. This year just I've got something to now. say. I've got something to say. Okay, I'm not the seer, we're, we're losing honest. time and we're trying to figure out who the seer is. When is. There's a werewolf. No, no, there's a I, werewolf. I, I think we should figure out who is the werewolf because yeah, that, that's, no, the that's what I'm saying. We so need we to should forget the seer. Forget the seer. Who is the werewolf? That's the question. But are you the werewolf? Yeah, that's the question. Do you know who the if I am? No, I don't know. But that's the thing. In order to know who the werewolf is okay. we should ask the seer yeah. and she can tell us because she knows who's for the one werewolf? of us who's the werewolf because you know you're the seer so who's the werewolf I don't know I want the seer to tell me because she knows more than me and we're on the same team Ooh. me and the seer but you said <laughs> she again and there is no other woman she did. No, I say that just because <laughs> the yeah, seer for me is Do you know who killed you? It doesn't have to be Thank a girl. <laughs> Do you? The but cards are random. Yeah, I know. It's the seer. Uh, because you are the seer. No, because oh in French it's like, why you is to me the seer and the female. Like, whatever. Ah, like, okay. Did you hear that? <laughs> I didn't know. You said that she said that the seer is a she because in French it's a female, like why you is. So now we have an, like a, some kind of Fair explanation. Play. Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> some? Yeah. <laughs> you or not? Because I knew it was one of you two. <laughs> I needed to figure out if you were innocent. I think she's I, a will. Sir, you gotta believe a villager. me. No, in no. a minute, he's going to be like, villager, times villager, up. Just will. No, the but problem will. is, in this game, I don't know what to believe. Like, I don't know who to believe. Trust me, look me, look me. Villager, villager, look where Ready? That's I'll what it is. Face. I figured it out. I'm it's already seeing. all calculated. I asked about Lumineer. It's not him. I needed to find out if you were innocent. I found out. It's Will. You're a villager. I had to, it was one of you two, because I asked about him. So I needed to figure out. What do you mean you asked about him? In the okay. night, I was like, is Lumineer innocent? Do. And he ah. said yes. Okay, we are voting. Vote Tell us vote Let's start from here, for example. Who do you vote for? I vote Will. You vote for Will. Who do you vote for? Vote you vote Will. Will. Two votes for Will. Please keep two fingers up. Will, who do you vote for? This guy. You vote okay. for this guy? No, I changed my vote. You can't change your vote. And, uh, and who okay, do you vote for? Change their vote? You, who do you vote for? <laughs> I don't know. I, w I vote Believe for Lumineer. Oh, I, I, I'm the seer. I asked about Lumineer. No, he's, vote Will. You're the seer. And who do you vote Will for? Will is innocent. No, no, so Will is werewolf. Lumineer is he's innocent. The seer. I asked about Lumineer. I asked him. Lumineer is the werewolf. No, I, I, I'm the seer. I, I, why would I'm okay, the seer? You're the werewolf. I'm the seer. I asked about Lumineer. Lumineer is innocent. Joey is the werewolf. Okay, I vote Joey. Okay, who do you vote for? Werewolf? For, for... It's Will. For him. Okay, for you will. Were the okay, so Will with uh, two votes because she changed her vote and you d voted differently. You are dead. Show us your card, please. I'm a villager. I told you guys. What? <laughs> it's her. It's got to be her. I asked. I asked if you're innocent. Where? I have a question. So the game's first. over. The game is over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the werewolf. I'm the werewolf. Oh, that was big. Was the game over? That was big, but because because in the night time I was gonna kill someone and then it would be one all. Oh my gosh. Aha, so we found out the werewolf was Joey. Hmm. <laughs> do, do, do you have any? <laughs> I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> Be, be, be the police, but don't tell anybody, okay? It's did, not funny, man. Did you steal it? Me? Not to, no. No, she was not with us. I'm the policeman. She, she, she's innocent. Now you're arrested. She's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Am I under arrest? Yes, you're under arrest. Are you arrest? Because I'm under you right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, do you have any guns? <laughs> No, I swear that I don't <laughs> have a gun. I, I, I will check him, I will check him. <laughs> yes, I think so. So who will check? Come on, gentlemen. He will oh. check <laughs> it. I think I have three guys with me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will check him, you know. I will check him, you know. If he has gone out, you know. I think. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> this house is located in South Albania in the village of Borsh. If you ever decide to visit Albania sometime in the future, you can consider staying in this house because the owner of this place is renting this house for very economical prices for Albanians and foreigner travelers and you can stay where we used to stay. For more, you can check out his Facebook page Resuli Rooms Borj Albania. Thank you. Did you steal a wallet from someone's tent? Uh, me? I'm not saying you. <laughs>